Okay, so today I'm gonna watch this video right here. ADD versus non-ADHD, or ADHD versus non-ADHD. So, my mom would tell you otherwise, but I, I'm pretty sure that I had ADHD from... The age of like five a diagnosed I guess from the age of like five or six or something up until um I was told by my mom at the age of 12 between that time period from like five to twelve I had ADHD and then around 12 years old, I was told that I had ADD, which honestly, I have seen a difference between now at almost 18 years old, sorry, now from almost 18 years old to, um, back to 12 years old, you can see my ADD fucking kicking in, but, um, between the age of 12 to now, I believe I have ADD. And, um, yeah, let's watch this video, shall we? Yep, it's a run. The same time that I got diagnosed, I think. I don't even know if I have a proper diagnosis is the thing. I just know I have it because I have all the symptoms. So, like, I'm twitching right now. Immediately, I can know. Little boy does not have it. She has it because she's moving. Yep, that was me in first grade. Yep. For me, it took like seven hours to work on one sheet. Yep. No matter the subject, no matter how hard, I always have problems. Terrible. I can relate so hard. I kinda do now, but... Yep, I was made in elementary school. I didn't have like any friends in elementary school. I never got invited to parties. I still don't. Nope. I sometimes have high confidence, I sometimes have extremely low. Both. Yep, yeah, that's me too. <laughs> Yep. I can't fucking focus for shit. Yep. I 
I can't make eye she can't make eye contact, neither can I. Little boy has like perfect eye contact and he's only six. She's moving. She's shaking her head. She can't make eye contact. She's moving her eyes around. You can notice I'm constantly moving my eyes around. I can't stop talking. She's spread out because she can't focus. She's slurring her words. She's stumbling over her words, yep. I'm a minority, yay. What the fuck? Yep. I don't know what the fuck ODD is. But, you know. Low self-esteem, yep. Poor social skills, no, not really. Bullied by their peers, not really. Excluded from social gatherings, yeah. Very intelligent, creative, and compassionate. Mm. Labeled as weird or misfit, I mean... All children deserve and want to be loved. Yep. I mean, I wish that would happen to me in elementary school, but now that I'm in high school, I'm the social butterfly. Yo. I can relate to that little girl so hard, it's not even funny. <sighs> yeah, it's 3 in the morning, don't judge me. But anyway. One, she couldn't focus. She kept... She's doing what I was doing. She's She was doing what I'm doing. She can't think of the correct word on time. So your sentences become very chalky, like what I'm doing right now. Two, she's constantly moving. She, yeah, it, it, you can tell I have ADHD. I have ADD. Um, two, she's constantly moving. She can't make eye contact, like it. I have such a hard time making contact with the camera. The only person I can truly make eye contact with is really myself in the camera, like on the screen, like what I'm doing right now, or a mirror. And even sometimes then I have trouble doing that. She um, is moving around like what I'm doing right now. She is never comfortable. Three, she's excluded from social gatherings because she's weird. I can relate to this so hard. Like, uh, I was never really invited to anything. I was excluded in elementary school. Which, you know, fuck you because I'm social now in high school. But, um, elementary school was rough, especially for me, because not only did I have ADHD, which is even worse than ADD, because you're always fidgeting around, but I also had, uh, OCD, which was in its peak in second grade, which, I don't know about you guys, but everything went downhill second grade. Like, it was not fun. Teacher was a snob. I got bullied the, for the first time, which I hardly ever get bullied. But still, I get teased. The second grade was like the one and only time I remember get, getting truly bullied, like bullied bullied, 
Um, let's see. Three, she's having a lack of focus, just like what I'm doing right now. Four, she forgets what she's saying, ha like, mid-sentence, which I'm doing right now. Um, she is constantly moving her head around, going back. So, something you might have noticed is uh, with me, when I'm trying to tell a story... I can't just tell a story from point A to point B. I always give too much information. And when I catch myself, I feel as though I'm skipping out on information, which a lot of times I actually am. But, ooh, that was my hip, excuse me. But, um, it's also 3 in the morning, so I'm forgetting a lot of stuff really easily. Anyway. I don't know if anybody else with ADD and ADHD can relate to this, but you can never, it feels like you can never truly describe how you feel because one, you can't even remember what you're going to say half the time. Two, you never think, you think that all of the words that you think of to describe it never truly match the energy of what you're trying to go through of what you're going through basically um you feel as though all descriptions of what you give of ADHD ADD is an understatement of what it actually is with any mental illness I'm pretty sure other people can relate but I don't know um let's see Three, I remember hearing that it had to have all of these uh, symptoms had to happen before you were the age of 12. Well, like I said earlier, I was diagnosed, at least I, was, I think I was diagnosed when I was like five or six, but technically you are born with it, so you never truly know until you actually meet up with a doctor. And get a proper diagnosis, which honestly, um, I definitely have something wrong with me. Yeah, so, um, anybody else who has ADD, ADHD, hit me up. We can talk about it. I don't really care. I'll put my email in the description. I'll see you.